Hello, I am Nimja, and this is Pillow Fight. Pillows are often associated with moments of relaxation. When we go to bed or when we lay down for a little bit, even if we lean back in a chair and let our head relax against a nice, soft pillow. Then again, there are times when pillows are used for something else. A playful battle. Generally speaking, the idea is not to hurt anyone, but to kind of gently, well, press or softly slap a pillow against someone. While it's possible to lose control a little bit and maybe do it a bit too hard, most of the time it's a very gentle, playful thing, if a little wild. Can you imagine what would happen if you had a pillow fight with a hypnotist? All it would take is a simple suggestion that every impact of a plushy pillow pulls you down. Maybe even that the softer the impact, the softer your mind would become. Or maybe that a more firm impact, a surprising against your head would create a nice feeling of being pulled down for a moment. A little bit like a soft touch in your forehead or perhaps that button in the back of your neck. Would it be fun to feel the impact of the pillow on your body to create waves of relaxation that rapidly spread, making it harder to fight back. Of course, there has to be a chance. So to give you a playful advantage, or at least something to try and resist, Every time that you manage to score a hit, you can wake up a little bit. Then the game begins. Initially, it feels like you have equal opportunity to hit them where they hit you. But after the first impact, you feel a little drop in your mind, a little calmness spread. It's completely normal to let your arms sink down a little bit when you relax. And this is making defense a lot more difficult. So you go on the attack hoping to score in a hit or two to help you wake up, but then you forget to protect your head. And before you know it, the side of your head suffers a plushy soft impact of a pillow, and the resulting wave of calm pulls you down. And then, if you don't pay attention, a few quick hits in succession. And before you know it, you're all kinds of woozy, and you're barely able to lift your hand, your arms so heavy. You try to score another hit back, but it's easily deflected 
by a pillow. And then a little tap and another and the impact of the pillow close to your head and your chest and your shoulders rapidly pulls you down. Now depending on the type of hypnotist, the type of person that would do this to you or with you, you might get around to with a little wake to help you defend yourself and possibly become more aware of how much you'd fallen just moments before. So with renewed vigor you try to attack, you get in a hit or two and feel more and more energetic until another tap on your head and the impact of a pillow again and again easily makes you drift and as your arms are getting heavier your body wanting to slump down. A few more impacts, tap, fluffy and soft. leaving you nice and drifty. Can you imagine how nice it would feel to have an impact on the side of your head almost knock you out into a deep trance? Not even that hard, just a poof. And you're pulled down into a wonderful state of emptiness. Before you know it, hypnosis pulls you down and it just sort of happens. And then when you're made awake for another round, you barely are able to do anything. As you try to defend, the hits happen so easily. Impact after impact, little tap, a pillow hitting the top of your head, then one the side, maybe even the back of your head. And before you know it, you're drifting so deep that you barely know anymore what's happening. At least that's what you think. Have any impacts happened at all? Was it all an illusion, a clever ploy to make you go into trance? Are you able to hold on to the pillow that you were trying to use? Or is your body too heavy to relax, too deeply in trance? I guess we'll have to see. In a moment, I'm going to wake you up, but the suggestion will stick around for a little while. As long as you enjoy it, who knows? Maybe you'll have a little pillow fight. Every impact of a pillow onto you by someone you trust will create an ever-increasing trance to spread through your body. Every little tap, ploof, impact of a pillow will feel like a lovely wave pulling you down. And before you know it, you'll be deep in trance again. And if they want another round, they could just wake you again, couldn't they? Or would another impact make you fall deep? One, two, slowly waking. Three, four, more aware. Five, six, almost there. Seven, eight, almost awake. And nine. 10, 
awake. And good luck. I hope you win by falling deeper.